my name is Shiloh, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a kid's tent while also keeping your kids entertained for at least a couple hours. So, first things first, we always want to make sure we have everything that should be in the tent. Typically, that involves two tent poles and the tent itself. Depending on the tent you buy, you may also have stakes if it's meant for outside. Now, the one I bought is meant for inside, so no stakes. Okay, we have our tent. Let's go ahead and lay that out so we know how much room we need. Down we go. And now we're up at two things. Our two tent poles. What we're going to do is we're going to connect these little pieces right here, this silver piece to this black piece. We're going to do that to each of these poles. So let's go ahead and get that done. And always remember you have a start and you have a finish pole. You'll know what these poles are because they have these little tips at the bottom. And they're also have this very stretchy rope inside, kind of helps connect them very quickly and it allows for a little bit of stretch. And don't lose your block pieces. And there's our first one. Let's put that down right here so we don't lose it. Now let's go to our second one. And again, we have our start and finish pole. Put those together. And if you have any children that want to help with this process, this would be something very easy for them to help with. Just be careful they don't use it as a lightsaber or think that they're a monk or karate guy. Now that we have this first pole and the second pole done, we're gonna actually put it into these sleeves on the tent. And the way you find these sleeves are they're gonna be sleeves. They're gonna be pull, uh, pulled out from the tent just like this and they're not gonna be flush with it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take this little black piece and indicate it that it is a start and finish pole and slide it in. Now most tents crisscross with the poles. There will be an empty center and this is where we usually tie a ribbon to make sure that the poles stay steady. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this into the other one that corresponds with it. Alright, and always make sure we're a little gentle with this. If you have some snaggage, uh, you can have some ribbage. And ribbage equals a very tired parent and a very sad child. So let's not do that. All right, and we'll rinse and repeat. Very, very easy process. And again, a kid can always help with this. All right, now your second pole will always go over your first one. And this will typically also be the pole that you'll uh, put into the little black pouches at the corners of the tent first. All right. And voila. All right. Now, to get the tent to go up, what we do is we connect with these, those little black pouches we were talking about. The black piece at the very ends of the pole with this going. And we have to make sure to go ahead and put the, the same pole into the opposite uh, diagonally. Diagonal, opposite and diagonal, up on the other side. And I may disappear for a second. It's okay. I'll be right back. And again, we have that snaggish. Take a deep breath and again, just pull it. You don't want to be too quick with these. And there we go. And there's the bow too. If you don't have a bow, something went wrong. And if something goes wrong, Take it apart and repeat. Okay. And, and we are. And here's where I'm going to disappear. And then I promise I'll be right back. Oh, maybe not. Okay. And into the other black hole. Oh. Now we just have our last one. And the nice thing is you guys can just move these around. You don't have to walk to the other side like we would do in our big adult tents. And again, just careful, gentle. There we go. And we have our last rolling punch. And bam. Super easy, super convenient. Very fun. What you can definitely do is, you know, Put some covers in there, put some blankets in there, like you have before. You can let them have story time. Whatever you like. Alright, and there we go. 
Now we have a perfect fork, story time plays, or whatever your kid wants to, wants to do with it or wants it to be. It's a great way for our parents to have a minute for themselves and anything else you want to do. And there you have it. Thank you for watching my video on how to put up a kid's tip and have a great day.